show off in YouTube. Rifle Gaming here. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? It's your Rifle here, and in today's video, I have you pretty much everything that's going to be into the House of Wolves. The reason why I say pretty much is, well, because you never know if they're going to add anything new into it before the launch. But for now, this is everything that's going to be in it. This information has been passed around on the internet quite a bit. But for those of you that do not know what's going to be in the House of Wolves, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. <coughs> Starting off with the Titan Raid Armor. The Titan's Raid Armor is labeled Wolf Walker. As you guys can see, Wolf Walker Helm, Wolf Walker Cuirass, Wolf Walker Gauntlets, Wolf Walker Greaves, and lastly but not least, the House of Wolves Mark. And I honestly think the Mark, Bond, and Cape look pretty nice for the House of Wolves. The light blue with the white, it goes nice together. Alright, up next is the Warlock Raid Armor, which looks pretty sweet as you guys can see. Will of the Archon, Vestments of the Archon, Grip of the Archon, Stride of the Archon, and the Archon Beacon. I have a feeling this beacon is going to be blinking baby blue. It'll be a blinking beacon, baby blue, binkin, baby, baby blue, blue binkin. binkin. Try to say that a lot of times, man. That shit is a tongue twister. Now for the hunter raid armor. Eyes of the Kel, blood of the Kel, hands of the Kel, speed of the Kel. And lastly but not least, the hunter cloak, which I cannot wait to get my hands on this, banner, banner of, of the, the Kel. Kel. Alright, up next I have you guys the new raid weapon. Let's try that again. Alright, up next I have you guys the new raid weapon, starting off with the terror starting off with the terror auto Let's try that again. Alright, up next I have you guys a new raid weapon, starting off with the terror auto rifle, a new hand cannon, I4I reciprocal, new scout rifle, Lobo LFD. Man, that scout rifle looks sweet just by the little picture it has. Anyways, up next the gun with no name. It's a polished rifle. I can see some funny things happening with this. What guns you get? The gun with no name? Oh, oh. A fusion rifle called Ether Torch. By Royal Permit Sniper Rifle. Docking Party Shotgun. Onslaught Solution Machine Gun. And The Last Rebellion Rocket Launcher. Alright, now that's it for the raid gear. I'm sure you guys are curious on what the exotics are going to be. And then I'll go on to the vendor gear. Starting off in the exotics, I have you guys the Internal Warrior. Which I'll go over the perks as well with these exotics. If you're interested in any other perks, like I'm not going to cover every single perk for everything in the House of Wolves. But I will cover the exotics. If you're interested, if you are interested though, in what other perks might be for a certain thing that I had said. We'll just Google it and Destiny Database will pop up and just look at the perks. But in this video, I'm just going to show you the exotic perks. For the Internal Warrior, it has Rain Blows, Increased Melee Attack Speed, and Inverse Shadow. Increased super energy gain from killing minions of the darkness. And lastly but not least, the Resolutes. Provides Unstoppable for Fist of Havoc. Up next are the ACD Feedback Vents, which these gauntlets look freaking awesome. These are for the Titan, and I will be going in order Titan, Warlock, Exotics, and Hunter Exotics. Anyways, the perks on these gauntlets are Special Weapon Loader, Rain Blows once again, and Wrath Conductors. Taking damage from a melee attack deals damage in an area around you. I could see these being kind of useful for the Thrall, or for the Invisible Fallen. Anyways, up next are the Leg Armor for the Titan, which one of the perks are still unknown, which probably gives like a weapon loader of some sort. The main perk on this is called Pure Grind Strike. Shoulder Charge deals bonus damage when activated in the air. And if you guys didn't know, Pure Grind is also a form of a bird, Pure Grind Falcon. So I guess that's why these are named Pure Grind Greaves. Alright, to start this off for the Warlock, the new exotic helmet called the Ram. The talent grid on this helmet is actually pretty amazing. To start off, it has attunement. This armor is attuned to your light and grants bonuses to your abilities. And right below that in the skill tree is called Illumination. Draw upon the light within this armor to boost your ability damage against higher level enemies. The next perk on this is called Energy Projection. Increases grenade throw distance. The next perk is called Quint Essence Transfer. Replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade. And lastly but not least, the last perk that you get on this helmet is called the Ram Arises. Activating Radiance from Death disorients nearby enemies. So I guess when you revive, that'll give you a chance to get away to safety for whatever kind of battle you are in. Up next are the Purifier Robes for the Warlock. It started off with the perks as Fusion Rifle Ammo Perk, Heavy Weapon Ammo Perk, and Burn Brighter Perk. Which what this does, enemies killed by Ignite, effects explode. Lastly but not least for the Warlock Exotic Armor, we have Nothing Manacles. Attunement and Illumination Perks are on these gauntlets. 
And then up next is Special Weapon Loader, Serpent's Tail. Causing damage with a melee reduces your grenade cooldown. And lastly but not least, what makes these gauntlets, kills with void light abilities grant a shield. So that's something pretty interesting, but that's wrapping up the Warlock. Up next I have you guys the Hunter Exotic Helmet, Hunter Exotic Gloves, and the Hunter Exotic Boots. Starting off with the Exotac Angel Hunter, which these seem like they're meant for more of the Blade Dancer skill tree. Starting off with Light the Blade, causing damage with a grenade reduces your melee cooldown. Up next is the Inverse Shadow, increased super energy gain from killing minions of the darkness. And lastly but not least, what makes this exotic helmet is the Angel Hunter. Significantly increases your weapon's accuracy for a short time after jumping. Not the craziest helmet I've ever seen, but hey, it's new and it's coming to us. Alright, up next is the Ikahika's Hooks Gauntlets. Which something pretty interesting about these is you can actually get a cape from the speaker called Ikahika's Venom. And what also is crazy about this, the logo on that cape is a snake. And Ikahika actually means small-eyed snake. It's kind of interesting. I did a little extra research and found that out. Thought I'd share it with you all. So that's pretty awesome. Anyways, to start off these gauntlets, Special Weapon Loader increases the reload speed of all special weapons. Ashes to a set replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade. And lastly but not least, the perk that makes these gauntlets, Touch of Venom. Hitting an enemy with a melee attack while invisible deals additional damage over time. Alright, up next I have you guys a leg armor for the hunter and it has the attunement and illumination perks as well as heavy weapon ammo perk and lastly but not least not bound by law. Upgrades double jump with an additional jump. Now that's freaking awesome. I definitely like to see how these boots actually play out and how high you can actually jump with these. So far there is two known exotic weapons that are going to be in the game. I'm not sure if these are the only two exotic weapons coming into the game though. But to start this off, the 347 Vesta Dynasty Scout Rifle. One. In the description it reads, A reef scout hunts for years fighting piracy and ancient traps to crack one cache and claim the weapons within. And the perks on this are actually Goliath and David. Which, Goliath, non-precision kills, temporary increase armor stat for 15 seconds. So you're like a tank, because Goliath was a tank. He was a huge beast. Anyways, for David, precision kills, temporarily increase agility stat for 15 seconds. First off, before I get started with these other perks, I just want to say those perks' names are genius. That's a brilliant idea put into the game. And as for the other perks, it has Accurized Ballistics, Smooth Ballistics, Aggressive Ballistics. I'm about to hear me out on this. I'm about to explain a lot. After those, that's when the Goliath and David perks come in to play. And then another skill tree, Single Point Sling, Switch Weapons Faster, Move Quicker While Aiming, Hammer Forged, Improve Range and Accuracy, and Perfect Balance. This weapon has extremely low recoil, and let alone it's already a scout rifle. Anyways, the next perk is called Life Support. Recovering from near death grants additional ammo and briefly increases reload speed. So hey, that's pretty handy. You don't have to actually be near death. I mean, you will always be near death, but I'm just saying like you can get yourself hurt on purpose and get yourself near death and then go to a safe spot and, and that I can actually see being pretty handy. Next exotic weapon is a shotgun called Lord of Wolves. And it looks way different from all the other shotguns, but to start it off, Smart Drift Control on it which predictable and controllable recoil penalties are range, soft ballistics, less recoil penalty to impact, linear compensator, more predictable recoil, slight boosts to range, and impact. So that's probably the best one to go with on this weapon. Anyways, it has hip fire on this shotgun, which is very, very useful for a shotgun. This weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. And then for the next skill tree perks, it has lightweight, when held, this weapon grants plus two to character agility. Flared mag well, reload this weapon even faster. Perfect balance, this weapon has extremely low recoil. That's freaking awesome that they have a faster reload on a shotgun. I can see that being very handy as well. And lastly but not least, Devil's Touch perk on this weapon. Stacking rapid hits has a chance to set your target on fire. Now that is freaking awesome. I really want my hands on this exotic shotgun. Light on fire, bro! And it's pretty sweet that they even added that physic into the game with the shotgun. So, And up next, I'm not going to name off every single piece of armor that we're going to be getting. But we're going to be getting a lot of new vendor gear. Here it is, guys. Check it out. Once again, I don't want to name off all of these for you. But you can see it right here. Because there's countless of things I have to go through in this one video. And I'm trying to get it out to you guys in this one video. Like everything about the House of Wolves. 37 new bad boy looking ships check it out freaking awesome and my best guess that we're going to be getting all these new ships 
in the new strike playlist that's coming up and I'll get to that later in the video but here's all the new crucible stuff and there is going to be some new playlists too as you guys can see looks freaking awesome can't wait the map names look pretty sweet too these den which is on Venus that sounds awesome black shield widow's court that sounds pretty cool the timekeeper they have a lot of good map names, but you can't always judge a book by its cover, so you never know. And up next, I know this whole video is about spoilers, but up next is a huge spoiler, so if you want to see this, stay on the video. If you don't, then go ahead and exit the video. hope you enjoyed the video. All right, here we go, guys. The story missions, the new strike, the new raid, everything. And there's a hint that this is going to be on the Reef Asteroid Belt, because check out the destination for the raid called the Arena. Very excited about this. Very, very excited to see how this is going to play out. But to start off the three new missions, Gone to Ground, which is going to be on Old Russia Earth, Wolf Harvest, which is going to be on Venus, The Terminus, which is also going to be on Venus, and the new Strike Playlist, which I'm guessing that's where we're going to be getting all the 37 new ships at, Vanguard Dragon. Launches a Reign of Strike at level 28. And the one new Strike is called Trader's Catch. This is going to be on the Moon. And there's also three new Reef Bounties, which I'm not sure how exactly this is going to play in, but maybe the Reef has some sort of town like the Tower. I highly doubt that. That would be pretty sweet. But anyways, as you guys can see, the Reef Bounties are Paskin King Baron, Lixer Wolf Blade, Skola's Wolf Kel. Or maybe the Queen will just be at her normal spot in the Tower as she was before. I don't know how exactly this is going to play out. But it's always awesome to think of theories. But I guess that's about wrapping up this video, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed the news, and I hope you all are excited as I am about this. It's coming March 10th of 2015. But anyways, I'm out of here, though. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and most importantly, thank you all for your time. Peace.